Hey boys and girls, I am ready for reading time and I hope you are too. So, I'm in my cozy reading spot, so what do we need to do to get reading started? Yep, we need to sing our song. Ready? We are gathering, we are gathering on the rug, on the rug. Everyone is here now, finding their own space now. We are here, we are here. All right, so we're all settled, we're ready for reading. And what I want us to do is think about the other day we learned something new to do in our books. What did we learn to do as a new tool in our books to help us learn more? We were talking about finding things that were the same and things that were different in our books. So we were doing the dragonflies and the honeybees. So what I want us to do today is I want you to just think for just a minute. What is something that you learned in your books and that you shared with someone? Think, what did I learn that was the same and different in my books? Those are all awesome. I love it. Okay, let's get back and let's learn what we're going to We're going to talk about what we're going to do today. So with this whole distance learning I have had to come up with some things that are different for you, some things that you could do at home. And I was thinking that I have seen all of you play pretend before. How many of you have played pretend? All of you. I've seen you do it in the classroom and outside and at specials and in the lunchroom. So we're going to get to play pretend with our books. I thought it would be a fun way to help us figure out why things are going on in our books and why animals do certain things. And we're going to look at our honeybees today. How many of you, before we look at this, how many of you remember that video we watched about the Venus flytrap? Do you remember that video? It was pretty cool. So how would you pretend if you were a Venus flytrap, what could you do? How could you use your hands to pretend like you're a Venus flytrap trapping a bug? You could use your hands, you could do this and pretend like you're trapping it, or you could kind of cuff your hands and do it like this. Remember it, opened up wide and it snapped down. So, I want us to do that with our honeybees. I want us to pretend to be a honeybee. And you may say, why am I pretending and acting out my books? Well, it'll help us remember and think about the why behind it. Why are the honeybees doing what they're doing? So. We're going to look at this page, right? Okay. This first page says honeybees have, how many, what do you think? What word? Two antennas. Two antennas. So if you were a little honeybee, are they, would you use a big hand or maybe just a little hand like your, but what, what kind of noise do they make too? You could pretend that. So I could go, Bzzz. I can maybe use my two fingers bzzz, buzzing around. Okay, so you're a honeybee. Bzzz. What are they going to buzz to? What do honeybees like? Okay, let's look at this page. Honeybees have four wings. So why do you think they have four wings? Hmm. Yeah, that could, it could help them fly better. Hmm. It could help them fly faster. Faster? That's a good idea. Um, keeps them safe, maybe? Okay, so we're our honeybee still. We're buzzing around. We can go fast. Okay. Honeybees have five eyes. And remember, we've talked about labels, too. So our label up here says small eyes, and this one says large eyes. Why do you think they need so many eyes? Remember, even though we're playing pretend, we still need to think about why. They're little, and they might need to look out for themselves more. They might need the eyes to see around them because they're so little, they don't want to get hurt. Yeah. Okay. This one says 
Honeybees live in hives. I see some snap words on there. I see the titles in there. Here's your picture. All right, let's see if we can act out this page. Honeybees collect pollen and nectar from flowers. Remember we said pollen and nectar? Those are our fancy words. Those are fancy words that we need to remember from this book. So when you go off to share with someone, you could say, oh, I know that honeybees, they collect pollen and nectar. And somebody would say, wow, those are really big fancy words. And you'd say, yeah, I learned that in my nonfiction book. So let's pretend we are a honeybee and we are flying to go get some pollen and some nectar and we fly to the flower. So. I want you today, we can do one more. Let's look at this one. Honey bees carry pollen on their legs in pollen baskets. So, you're a little honeybee. You got your two antennas, you got your pollen basket, and you are flying around trying to not drop your food. You don't want to drop it. And you got to get somewhere and eat. So, what I want you to do is remember that pretending is very important with our nonfiction books. It helps us think about why, but it's also remember, very important that you go back and talk about it too. So don't just pretend the whole time. Think, hmm, why is this happening in my book? What are they trying to teach me? So what I want you to do is I want you to go off and play pretend with one of your books. That may seem silly, but you're at home, so you could play outside with your book. You could pretend outside or in your bedroom or in a cozy spot. And I want you to pretend like you are that either animal, if you're reading about an animal, which most of you probably are, or if it's a plant or... Um, something that you're learning about in the community, but I want you to try and pretend that you are in that book and you are trying to be that, that person or that thing or that animal to help you remember your book more. And then, once again, go off and share. Share the learning that you are doing and that you are learning in your books. It's important to go share with someone and talk about it. So, I hope y'all have a great reading day. Get your books, go get set up, and enjoy reading those nonfiction books. Remember, avid readers don't want to stop reading, so you get in a cozy spot. Don't look up and read for about 15, 20 minutes, okay? Y'all have a great day. See you later. Bye!